What's up guys, Reese here from Reese3D.com. In this video, we're going to create text on a path and we will create text inside a custom shape. In the previous video, we learned about two kinds of text, character text and paragraph text. Now you know that character text is basically a single line text that you can use as headline or for a single word. And paragraph text is what we create for creating multiple lines of text. This is the second video in creating text in Photoshop and this is the fifth video in the tutorial series that is called as graphic designing in Photoshop. I've added the links to those videos in the description so you can check them out if you want to learn more about Photoshop. So let's jump into Photoshop and see how we can create text on a path and text inside a custom shape. Let's go ahead and choose file, take a new file and we will choose A4 and keep it at um, landscape. Let's leave everything else as it is and click create. There you go, that's our new document, right? So let's just go ahead and create a simple path first. We can create path either by using the pen tool or we can also create path just by using the line tool or even the custom shapes that you create also acts like paths. Let me just start by using the pen tool to create a single path. So make sure that you have path selected here. And I'm just gonna draw from here to here and to here, something like that. So that's our simple path. And in this path, we're gonna create text. To do that, let's go to the text tool. With that, we're gonna move the mouse over the path. As you can see, when I move it over the path, the icon changes to an I sign and a little arc inside it. This means that when I click now, it is going to create the text on the path. Cool. Let's go ahead and just click once. So that basically creates an artistic text or character text on the path, right? By default, it just has some value, but I'm gonna write, welcome to Photoshop tutorial. Cool. Now, let's just go ahead and change the font. I don't like that font. Let's see if we can find some nice, simple, um, yep, something like that. And now, if I make this bigger, okay, as you can see, it just shows two words. The rest of the words are hidden inside this little circle that we see, right? So to reveal that, we need to actually make this text a bit bigger. To do that, I'll go ahead and click on this black arrow tool, which is the path selection tool, right? So once I click on the path selection tool, I can actually go here and click any of these places. That will basically define the area where I want this text to end. And I can also click and drag to decide how much I want to give space for this text. Right now, here at this point, the alignment of the text that you have chosen earlier makes a decision here. So, if I go ahead and ch uh, choose the text here, and if I look up here, I basically have the center alignment. That is why you can see that the text basically stays in the middle. If I choose the left alignment, you will notice that the text moves to the left end. If I choose the right alignment, the text moves to the right end. If I choose the center alignment again, we have the text right in the middle. And I can also decide how, how far I want to push this. So if I go ahead and click here and drag, you can actually see that I can alter the location of the text. So you can see right here, we have the starting point and the circle that you see here is basically the ending point. And you can see in the middle, there's a sm small diamond shape, which basically tells where is the actual center point of that text. Cool. So let's just leave it as it is. And we can also push it down if we want. And you will notice that when I push it down, it actually changes the start point as the end point, and the end point becomes the start point. And you will see that the text actually goes from here all the way to the other side. Now, this is still a simple character text, which means that we can basically select this text and make all kinds of modification that we want from the character window, right? So we can adjust the uh, size, make it bigger or smaller, and we can also do play with all these other options like tracking, kerning, and everything. So you can adjust those things to create some pretty 
need effect. Cool. Let's just click OK and finalize that. Now notice what happens. This path that we have created is a simple path. So that means if I just deselect it, the path will not be showing in our final result unless you convert it as a shape or you give a stroke to that. And if you want to see this path where it's hiding, you can actually go to this paths window and there you will find working paths. If you don't see this window, you can also go to window and there you can choose paths. So that way we can basically take any kind of path and create text on that path. Now, let's say that I have created this text and I have saved this file and after that I realize that I want to make a small change to the path. All we need to do is open the file back and make sure that you choose the text layer here. Okay, if you go back to the same path, then it won't work the way you expect it because this becomes a separate path. All we need to do is select this text layer and there you will find the path which is actually hidden inside. Now all we need to do is go ahead and click on the direct selection tool which is the white arrow tool and you can just click on this path and you can modify the path. As you can see the, the text also changes according to the change that we do for the path. Now at the same time if you go to the paths here and there you will find the working path which is the original one that we created that will not have any kind of influence on this text. Okay, so if I modify this, it is not going to affect the text. And what will change is the path that you have inside the text, which will also show up here. Cool. This works on any kind of custom shape that you have. For example, let me just delete this for now. Now let me create a simple shape. So I'll go ahead and click on ellipse. I'm going to create a circle. Let me press shift just to make sure that we have a perfect circle. Now when you're drawing, make sure that you have chosen path here because we don't want this to be a shape. If it becomes a shape, then it will be visible in our final result. So I just created the circle and I'm going to the text and all I need to do is make sure that you place the mouse right on this line okay if you go inside then it'll become a paragraph text so you need to be careful here right so let's just move it exactly on the line and click boom that creates the text so i'm going to write here like let's say um reese 3d.com that's it and i want to decide where i want this to start let's say i want to put it right in the top so to do that let's go ahead and choose the um, path selection tool and I'm going to click here and drag until it comes to the top. I did a little small mistake in terms of the spelling. I'll just go ahead and adjust that and I can go back to the text tool just to make that change. Press 3. Cool. And now I can also make this bigger, smaller, change the color, whatever you want. There you go. So let's just go ahead and choose this uh, kind of red, reddish, okay, something like that. Now we can also create more text on the same path, but make sure that you make a duplicate of that before doing that. So I'll go ahead and press Control C, Control V. So that basically brings us a separate object. And then we can just place him right on the same place and modify his text. Double click, select everything, um, Photoshop. Photoshop. So now what I want to do is I want to push this down. So I will go back to my black arrow key here and I will just push all these guys down. Now you'll see that it actually created the text uh, in the wrong direction. So I'm just going to pull this a little bit inside and there you go. Perfect. So now you will notice that we have the text uh, a bit squeezed up inside. So what I'll do is I'll select my text tool here, select all these texts by double clicking on it. And I will go to the character panel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this baseline shift a bit uh, towards negative. So let's see. I think that matches up perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and select that. And there you go. So if you want to make a little bit more uh, change on this, let's say I want to add a little 
uh, shapes right from the beginning and the end. So I'll add a couple of stars here and I will add a couple of stars here. And maybe I'll just give a little space, boom, boom, and then I want to do the same thing here. That's it. So this way we can create some really cool uh, logo designs and things like that. So that's character text and paths. Now let's see how we can create paragraph text inside a shape, right? So let's just go ahead and choose here a polygon tool, right? And I want to have, let's say, uh, five sides or six sides should be fine. Again, make sure that it is a path. If you create it as a shape, it will still work. But all you will have is a fill color and stroke color. Then if you want, if you don't want that to show up, you can also make those to be transparent. Just before continuing, I'm just going to select these two guys and I want to move them away. So now I'm going to pick up the uh, polygon tool and we'll make the sides to be six. And I want to make sure that I'm not modifying any of these guys. So I'll create a new layer here. Click in the middle, then drag towards the side. Cool. So that's basically the shape that I have. And I want to create a text inside this, which is a paragraph text. To do that, I'll go ahead and choose the text tool. Now, instead of just placing it on the line, what we want to do is we want to go inside. Now you'll see that we have the blinking um, eye symbol and we have a big circle around it, right? So now if I just click, boom, that's it. So we have paragraph text created inside that in the same shape or bounded by the same shape that we created earlier, right? So let's just go ahead and change the size to be smaller. Maybe I'll change the font also to be something simple. So let's say choose that. And I just want to turn this off so that we can see we have both cap letters and small letters. And I also want to bring this baseline shift back to zero. Cool. So let's say I want to create multiple paragraphs here. So let's say I will write something. Welcome to Photoshop tutorials. So what I want to do is I want to have a uh, space here. Then I'll select all these guys, control C, control V, and I want to be multiple copies of that. So that's how you create a paragraph text inside a shape. So let's just go ahead and do some more modification to this. I'll go to the paragraph and I can actually align it to the left so you can see that it actually stays in the same line. And we will also see the same thing that happens on the right side. If I choose uh, both justification, that's what is going to happen. If I justify all, and that's exactly what is going to happen. Okay, so now I'll show you how to create text inside a custom shape. It could be a custom shape that you created, or it could be a custom shape that is available in Photoshop. Okay, so let's just go ahead and pick this custom shape, which is going to be an elephant. So there it is. So let me pick this elephant and I'm going to draw from right in the center and I'm going to press shift key. There you go. Cool. So now what I'll do is I'll take my text tool and I'll go inside it. So you can see that we have the uh, blinking eye and then we have a circle on top of that. If I click inside and that basically creates the text inside it. Now you'll see that the text that we have creating inside is always bound by this shape so that it doesn't go out. And it also maintains the alignment that we have given in the character and in the paragraph windows, right? So what I'll do is I'll copy this and I'll paste here. Okay, so you can see so it's basically uh, staying inside the shape, both in the left and right side, because we have both left and right justification turned on. Okay, so if I just paste, as you can see, it basically goes till the end, right? So if I adjust this uh, path, you can see that if I press Control T and make that smaller or bigger, you will notice that the text also adjusts according to that. This will be really useful when you're creating brochures and other kind of uh, designs where you want to have your text to be bound by a custom shape. It could be a triangle, it could be a rectangle, it could be a circle, it could be any kind of shape that you want. Now, we know that we can create text uh, horizontally, that is what we use all the time, but we can also create text vertically. To do that, let's go to the text tool. We can either right click on the mouse or we can press and hold to reveal some extra tools here. 
So we have vertical type tool here. And if I click on that, I can click anywhere and I can type vertically. Okay. So if I say, hello, welcome. And if I press enter, go to the next, it goes to the next line, which is in the left side. Two, please. 3d.com right if I select all of them and make that bigger so this is a special feature I don't know where it will be useful but in case if you have such a requirement there is an option like this now I'll show you one more little trick that is creating masking with the help of text tool so if I go inside we have vertical mask and we have horizontal mask they both work in the same way so I'll just show you the horizontal mask now to make things more easier, I'm going to pick a bold text, which is this one, and I can make it a bit bigger and I'll just click once to create the text. And I'm going to make it a bit bigger. This is 43. So let's choose something like 60. Cool. Now you can type in any kind of text you like. Let's say, hello, please 3D. There you go. So once we finish uh, creating this text and if i click ok what it basically does is it gives you a selection of that text well practically this is not something that is very useful but we have such an option so you have you can use that otherwise if you want to create the same uh, selection you can also create the text just by the horizontal type tool let's say i'll type hello please 3D and if I just go ahead and select this guy and if I press control and click on the text layer icon here and that will also give us a selection so you can basically hide this and you basically end up with the same selection right so if you don't want to do this extra step to get just the selection that you want you can simply go ahead and use the mask text horizontal type tool I hope this was useful to you. So if it was useful to you, please hit the like button and write in the comments below if you have any questions. Okay, so do share this video to your friends and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.